friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach. I'm on Weight Watchers and I follow calories and macros. Happy Saturday, it is Saturday, so it is grocery haul day. You're not gonna wanna miss this grocery haul because I have an exciting new food find. So if you're excited, give this video a big huge thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not because I do a grocery haul every single Saturday and I upload five videos per week. Check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching where I offer personalized to you macros and calories. Highly recommend as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching if you would like accountability and to chat with me directly. Links and discounts to my favorite things and my Facebook group, come join us there, are also down in the description box. So let's jump in to the grocery haul. So this week I went to Fry's, which is our local Kroger store for my grocery haul. And I have a super exciting food find. There were a couple different options and I picked up one of them. I may pick up the other one if the first one is good. So I'm excited to share that with you. So let's jump into the grocery haul. So the first thing I grabbed is some beef stock and some fat-free chicken broth. I needed broth for my meal prep as well as a couple of dinner recipes. I always pick up Good Culture whenever I am at a Kroger store. It's $3.99 versus $5.99 at Sprouts. And you already know it's my favorite, favorite cottage cheese. I only picked up one container because I have that big tub that I bought at Costco as well. And then some light sour cream. We've been making the green onion dip that I shared in last week's grocery haul. It's one of our favorite things. And I actually picked up quite a few vegetables for veggies and dip this week. Paper plates because I had a coupon for these and it is extremely convenient. Lots of canned goods. I needed some black beans and some pinto beans for a recipe, two cans of tomato sauce, and then a can of the fire roasted diced tomatoes. I'm making little mini meatloaves for dinner one night this week and it called for stuffing mix. I'm assuming that's going to sub any breadcrumbs in the meatloaf. I'm betting that's going to add a really nice flavor. So I'm excited to try that recipe. And then we have been on a popcorn kick, both Troy and I, he's been eating tons of popcorn. I've been eating tons of popcorn. This one is my favorite, the Lesser Evil Himalayan Pink Salt Popcorn. It's so salty and so buttery and so crunchy. It is so good. I mean, all time favorite popcorn. The Himalayan salt is my favorite flavor and then I did buy Troy at Costco the skinny pop little individual bags and he doesn't love them so I grabbed the boom chicka pop and I thought he could try that and he can decide if he likes the boom chicka pop better or the skinny pop and I should actually have him try this one because like I said this one in my opinion is the best I also saw these these are from the Kroger brand they're Colby Jack cheese and turkey sausage there's 10 grams of protein and only 140 calories for the little snack pack and three snack packs was only four dollars so a little over a dollar a pack I thought that was a really good deal and this just makes a quick easy high protein low cal snack whenever meat is on sale I buy it so this is 80 20 ground beef this is not something I would eat but you guys know that I make Troy taco meat and sloppy joe sometimes and he doesn't mind 80% ground beef. And it was on sale for $3.49 a pound, so I picked up two. And then also, I actually needed this for a recipe, the 99% fat-free turkey. This was the last one, and it was $3.79. So that is a great deal. That's almost half off, so I grabbed that. And then I had a coupon for a free cream cheese, so I picked up the Philadelphia one-third less fat. I just throw this in the fridge. I use cream cheese a lot in recipes, so we'll definitely use that. So here is the new food find. So on an end cap, they had Halo Top mixes. So they had a brownie mix that was 90 calories per brownie. And then they had this cookie mix, peanut butter, chocolate chip. Yes, please. So I grabbed that to try it out. 60 calories for the mix, 80 calories prepared. All you're using is butter and water. You could probably substitute light butter if you wanted, and it would reduce the calories even more, the points even more. I'm probably just gonna use regular butter, but I can't wait to try these. I think what we'll do is we'll try this out in next Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day. So definitely subscribe, turn your bell on so you don't miss it. And I am now officially on the hunt for any Halo Top products, especially if this one is good. I also picked up the press pretzel crisp bite. So these are the little baby pretzel crisps. I have that red pepper 
hummus from Sam's Club in my fridge that I want to finish up and I've been loving it with pretzels and I thought these baby ones would be fun because you kind of feel like you get more when they're smaller and they're the perfect bite size just to dip in hummus, dip, guacamole, I mean anything that you want. You could even put cheese on these, dip them in peanut butter. So I grabbed the big bag. I needed minced garlic and I've decided that these squeezy spices are the best. I love the ginger. I love the garlic. I will pay the little bit of extra to have it in a squeezy tube because it is so much more convenient. And then we've been out of blue cheese dressing and Troy loves blue cheese and he's been eating salads. So the Marie's chunky blue cheese was on sale. So I picked that up. I needed whole milk for a dinner recipe and then a couple of different cheeses. So a light shredded Mexican blend for me. And then they have their private selection chef's blend on sale for the same price as the Kroger brand. This is their more high end brand. And this is the thick cut sharp cheddar Gouda Asiago cheese. Troy uses these a lot in his quesadillas and things that he makes. So I know that he'll use that cheese up. And then I picked up the light shredded for myself. He's still eating these same cereals, the fiber one with honey and then the Kashi toasted berry crisp. They didn't have the big box of Kashi. So I grabbed the little one, but I did pick up the big box of the fiber one. And then I needed some frozen chopped spinach for my breakfast meal prep. After the grocery haul, I'll share with you what's on my menu for dinners and what you'll see in Monday's meal prep and lots of produce. So I have some celery for dipping. I did get one huge English cucumber. We have one cucumber left from Costco and we ate two of these huge cucumbers this last week. So I'm going to chop up the other two for this week. I needed some fresh parsley for a recipe and then they had the little pomegranate pearls on sale for $1.47. These are normally like $4 I think. So I picked these up and I'm going to have these as a fruit this week. Lots of apples for my meal prep, berries for snacking, and I also need berries for meal prep. So I have two little packs of blackberries and a little pack of raspberries, some radishes. We've been loving dicing these up into slices, but basically radish rounds and dipping them in our dip. It's so good. And then two red bell peppers and one green bell pepper for a dinner recipe. So that is everything with the exception of a case of Diet Coke and a case of water, which Troy is currently putting away in the garage. So that is everything that I picked up for the week. Let's jump into what's for dinner and what you'll see in meal prep. So here's what is on my menu for the week. So today's Saturday, we are going to go out for dinner. Tomorrow night, Troy was asking for tacos. On Monday, I am doing a creamy beef in shells meal. I'm really excited for this, actually. You'll see this in Wednesdays, what I eat in a day. Tuesday is leftovers. Wednesday, I'm doing little mini meatloaves. And then Thursday and Friday, we always do leftovers to finish up everything from earlier in the week. And here's what you'll be seeing in Monday's meal prep. I can't wait for this. For breakfast, I'm making mini frittatas. These are going to be perfect little protein packed goodness. And then for lunch, I'm doing a stuffed pepper casserole. I'm also super excited for this. And then for dessert, we're going to do apple crisp. I feel like with the colder weather, I definitely want a little bit warmer vibe. And I think a crisp sounds amazing. So stay tuned for Monday's meal prep. Thank you for joining me for another weekly grocery haul. I'm so excited to try that Halo Top cookie mix. Definitely subscribe, turn your bell on because we're going to make those cookies in next Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day. And if you enjoyed the grocery haul, give it a big thumbs up. Again, subscribe, turn your bell on, check out the description box for nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things. And don't forget, we'd love to have you join our Facebook group. Happy Saturday, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. You're also not going to want to miss it because it is my protein pudding video, and I have seven, yes, seven recipes for you. See you tomorrow. Bye.